Hi, this is Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile with another haul video. Decided to change things up a little bit. I was been, I've been slowing down uh, trying to get caught up in posting some of the things that I had originally sourced uh, when I first thought I was just going to do a, uh, a uh, showcase in an antique mall. Uh, slowly but surely, I think I've touched on this in some of my earlier videos, uh, my hoard started growing and eventually I decided I had to start doing something. So I started selling on Etsy, which has been more successful than I had anticipated. And even though that I now finally have a showcase at an antique mall, to be honest, the sales aren't particularly uh, uh, good at that location, I'm looking to see what I can do to improve that. But I have this backlog of items that now can't go into the antique shop because they have restrictions on the age of the items that you're allowed to put in there and had been items that I just hadn't had a chance to get posted onto Etsy yet or wasn't sure they were worth going on Etsy. So kind of reevaluating everything and I decided maybe if I start breaking up these videos a little bit shorter, I might be able to encourage people to watch them and maybe watch them a little bit uh, more to their, to their end. So uh, what I'm doing today is going to cover uh, some of the mugs and teacups and things that I had uh, purchased for different applications, whether it was the antique shop or for Etsy. Uh, right off the bat, I have this series of drinking, um, they're, they're the do-it-yourself ceramic type pieces. Uh, they're all dated 1981. It's a set of six. It has this uh, faux bois um, wood grain finish on the outside. And then each one of them has a different color on the inside and there are six unique colors. So I've got yellow, blue, green, aqua, pink, and magenta. Uh, what I found interesting on these, they're all dated 1981. They all have some version of this signature where someone was trying to be creative and turn their initials into something more artsy. Uh, in some cases, this, this one kind of looks like a C tying into an M. In some cases, it looks like somebody's fist, like with knuckles. Uh, but then this one, I don't know if they forgot, or this one is dedicated to someone. This says Toots, uh, which ironically or coincidentally had been, or was the nickname of my ex-wife's grandmother, uh, who in 1981 would have been in her 50s. I doubt, I'm sure there was more than one Toots in 1981, but I found that one interesting. But that was the only one. The yellow one was Mark Toots. The, all, all the others had, again, some variation of that signature. It's kind of like that individual was changing it up as they went. You can see that one actually has a little bit of a chip on the bottom, which is unfortunate. I think I probably did that. Uh, anyway, picked these up for 50 cents a piece. I have six of them, so I've got three bucks. They are an example of something that is too new to go into the showcase at the antique mall that I'm at. Uh, but they are vintage, so they can go into Etsy. I don't think I'm going to be able to get much for them, and they're somewhat heavy, so shipping will be a little, ex little expensive. But they're kind of a fun item. I don't know if there's going to be much of a market for it, but those will definitely be going on there. Uh, another piece that I picked up, these I was actually really excited to find. These were at a uh, Goodwill. It is a series of mugs. There's six of them. They are stamped on the bottom. Uh, this one is marked Field Daisy, and they are all numbered. This one's number 103. Wild Pink appears to be the first in the series because that one's marked 101. I remember Dandelion is the last in the series. Uh, that one's marked 106. So there's six of these. and But they're not marked with any sort of maker mark. So I did a lot of, bit of, a lot of digging. And this is something I also thought I would do if these videos get a little bit shorter is maybe I'll try and do a little bit more research and give you some more background information on these pieces. So after quite a bit of digging, I did find uh, several other listings of these and they are part of the uh, Takahashi um, San Francisco uh, line, which I have a couple of other uh, pieces of that. Uh, these just don't, I don't know, once upon a time they might have had the label on them. All the other ones I have have a little uh, kind of a flower, floral, flower-shaped uh, foil label. None of these did, and none of the ones that I found online did either. Uh, these mugs I picked up for 59 cents a piece and uh, doing a little bit of research on these. Um, basically, there were four sales of some variation of these uh, in 2019. Um, there was a set of five that sold for $27, a set of four that sold for $19, 
and then two sets of five where the mugs were paired with their matching plates, but also only five. In one case for $85, another case was $56. So they were selling fairly nicely. And if I remember correctly, I might have some plates too, so I might have to dig those out. But no sets of six sold in 2019. Um, the last time a full set of six sold was in 2016, and just the six mugs sold for 65 bucks. So they appear to be not a case where you're coming across all six, or you have to make your own version of six, I, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, so I think I'm gonna do pretty well with these, considering I've got $1.20, $3.60, into the full set and if I have the plates which I think I do um, maybe I could you know either pair those up or just post them at the same time I should be able to get some pretty good uh, money on these at a minimum of five dollars a piece but you know going upwards to probably listing these for around 40 50 bucks plus shipping um, pretty pretty good investment for uh, three dollars and sixty cents uh, another piece that I picked up this was actually at a um, what do you call it a, rummage sale. It's one of those, uh, one of the church ones that was run. It was while I was trapped doing a road trip, literally driving by this church, saw this great big sign saying everything was half price. <laughs> Sign me up. So I went in and I found this great set. And of course I didn't set them up correctly. This great set of Woodfield by Steubenville uh, snack set. So it's the plate with the mug. These were set, there was a set of 10 of these, all different colors, uh, along with three additional pieces that maybe came from things that were originally broken or somehow they were separated, uh, and toothpick holders. They're all tied together with, with string. It was very church basement-y, it was very cute. The way it was priced, I didn't even understand what was happening, but in the end of the day, I got the sets of 10 with the toothpick holders and everything. I believe I ended up paying a dollar for it all. So, hey. Figured it couldn't go wrong, brought it home, and started doing a little bit of digging. And it turns out these uh, have a pretty good following. There were 19 sales of those snack sets just in 2019, ranging anywhere from $4 to $12, depending on their color. Um, right now, there are 10 listings uh, on Etsy, and they're ranging anywhere from $10 to $15 each. Uh, for or for the pair, for the mug and for the plate. So for the set of, I'm going to break these up. I'm going to post four of these, uh, and then maybe if they do well, sell the other set of four, and then do a pair since I've got a total of ten. Uh, but actually, I think the pair might be on display uh, uh, for sale at the antique store right now. But anyway, I should be able to list these for you know somewhere in the forty dollar range. Uh, throw a little bit extra for shipping uh, to get free shipping, and based on their sales, they I should be able to do pretty well. So pretty excited uh, with that. Uh, another piece that I've had for a little while, and I think I might have mentioned this uh, once before, just when I first started looking into going into resell, it was I always used to go to flea markets. Used to didn't go didn't do the garage sale thing all that much. Uh, that I felt was a little too personal. You know, I felt if I if I picked something up and then ended up not buying it, I was somehow offending the owner of it. Uh, but I would, I, and I never, I hadn't typically gone into Goodwill, but there are certain things that when you go to different places, your eye gets attracted to. And one of the things that I've always been attracted to, but never to the extent that I wanted to collect it, was Picard China. And so this is a pair, I've got two a mug, a mug a coffee cup and saucer in the fantasy pattern, 1069. It's Picard China. Uh, read somewhere or saw a YouTube video that actually Picard in some cases was not manufacturing the china they were decorating it for another manufacturer I don't know enough about it yet to know what this one is I did note that there are different types of labels on them so this one you can see at the bottom of the 1069 there are three hash marks on there um, which I have a feeling indicates somehow indicates the age if you look at the other saucer this one has five hash marks underneath it. So maybe this was manufactured two years later than the other one. And the coffee cups are similar, but in this case, it looks like the first number is a four, so it throws away the idea of being Roman numerals. So I, I'm not 100% sure the dating, but just they've got this great, uh, almost creamy white porcelain. I don't know if it's showing up particularly well. Uh, it's not a, a bright, glaring white, but it's still very pure white um, porcelain. 
with this attractive floral design the, and the motif of the bottom of the saucer, as well as the front of the cup. The cup itself is pedestaled, which is really nice. It's just an, it's just an attractive piece. And uh, doing a little bit of uh, research on those, the um, replacements uh, currently sells them, uh, lists them for $14. Uh, they're having a sale right now, so they're $10 each. I believe this was, uh, I think, a reference that Jeffrey made on Real Nifty Vintage, that in general, you really wouldn't expect to get more than about half of what replacements is charging, uh, because typically they're just charging really high prices. So don't use that as your target price. Um, but even at the half price, $5 each, well more than what I've got in. I've got a dollar piece into each of them, so two bucks for the pair. You know, if I can turn around and sell them for 10 to 15 bucks for the pair plus shipping, I, I'd be pretty happy with that. And it kind of goes back to my original philosophy. If I'm really just trying to save stuff from landfills, trying to give things a good home uh, and keep them in really good condition until they get there. So the Picard China uh, Fantasy uh, teacup and saucer, really happy to have those. And those will be going up onto Etsy. Uh, another piece that I had picked up, this was also earlier during a, a road trip. I had picked these Otagiri uh, sake cups. They have the labels. Not all of them are labeled. Uh, in some cases, the uh, might help if I put it upright. Uh, in some cases, like one of them has the label, but it's been uh, worn off, so it's just kind of the, it's almost a silvery foil, so you really can't read it. One, it's missing completely, but they're all matching. It's a sake cup. It's got the white, blue, and white flower on it with the brown leaves. They were originally listed for 50, they were selling them for 50 bucks the day I was there, everything was half price. So I got these for 25 cents a piece. So for a set of six, I've got $1.50 uh, going into them. Um, doing a little bit of research onto these, there are a lot of different designs of the Otagiri uh, sake cups. I could not find this pattern at all. Uh, but based on what they did have, there were eight different sales in 2019. Um, they were pretty much selling in the range of three to six bucks. There was one pattern called the, uh, called Pussy Willow, which seemed to be selling for quite a bit more. So there must be something special about that one. I think that one was like 10 or $15 each. Uh, right now there are none of this pattern listed on Etsy, but there are 14 listings for sake cups. So I'm not gonna be able to get a lot out of this, but I've only got a buck 50 into the whole set. So it's really just a matter of balancing it out to be able to add the shipping because once you add them together, they're going to be kind of heavy, but I should be able to get, you know, three to five bucks a piece uh, out of them. So, you know, maybe 15 to 20 bucks for the set plus shipping. Um, I want to turn things quickly, so they might be worth more than that, but that's probably what I would put them in at uh, because there are a lot of other listings there, not of this design, but equally attractive designs that I just want to make sure I can be competitive and uh, uh, encourage someone to buy them, if nothing else, because they're well-priced. Uh, another Otagiri uh, piece I picked up, this was, I, I did, I haven't been doing a lot of sourcing, but I did make a trip this week uh, when I was in Wisconsin and I did find a piece and this is an Otagiri um, coffee mug, very clearly marked Otagiri Japan on the bottom. Um, I have not done a lot of mugs. I've sold a couple and I just recently posted an Otagiri quail a pair of quail mugs, and in doing the research for those, they were selling for nice money. Uh, so there's a there's a good name behind these. This is kind of a you know fishing village. There's like a little you know house with some boats, uh, sailboats in front of it, and some gulls. There are many designs that fall into this category, and if you can tell, there it's somewhat embossed. You know, the boat's a little raised. There's a little etching in there, so it, it's very very. Uh, tactile uh, it, and it's a, it's a really nice hefty you know size piece there are a lot of uh, these that are out there uh, three of this exact si uh, this exact mug this style three different sales occurred in 2019 uh, and they ranged in price anywhere from six dollars and fifty cents to twenty dollars each so there's quite a bit of a range um, right now, there are several listed on Etsy, so I've got a little bit of competition. In almost all cases, the cheapest one, well, the cheapest one right now is listed for $12, but plus shipping and handling. So if I want to do this, maybe I put it at 12 plus shipping and handling, or just go ahead and, you know, stretch it and try and figure out maybe 15, including shipping and handling. Uh, I don't have any interest in storing this for a long period of time. I just want to turn it. 
Uh, pink was half price, so I only paid 50 cents for this. So all is right with the world. Uh, even if I get, you know, eight to 10 bucks, I'm perfectly content because I don't have that much money into it. At the same place, oh no, pink was not half price, green was half price. So pink, so I got a dollar into it, but still, even though I sell it eight bucks, eight times my investment, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, because the reason I thought of this, because the green is what's half price. So this was another mug picked up at the same location at Goodwill in um, southern Wisconsin. I can't remember what town it was. Uh, I just really like the looks of this. I concerned a little bit that it may not fall under the vintage definitions for Etsy, but there are others of these listed on Etsy. Uh, they have sold, but um, not a lot of them. Uh, this specific design has not sold on uh, eBay since 2012, at which time it sold for 40 bucks. Actually, it sold twice in 2012, and each time it sold for 40 bucks. So at some, once upon a time, this is a very valuable mug. There is no way it's getting anywhere near that right now. Uh, right now, there is one listed online of this exact design. Uh, it's listed for $12 plus shipping. So this is another case, if I wanted to sell it for 10 plus shipping or put 15, this is actually, it's a pretty lightweight porcelain. Uh, I might be able to get this out for under a buck. So this might be something I put in $15, including shipping, just to kind of attract those people that like it that way, uh, just to be able to turn it. It is an attractive looking mug. It is marked produced exclusively by Harrods, but it doesn't say who produced it, uh, nor does it say when it was produced. It says Fine Bone China, made in England. Nice looking piece, you know, get an Anglophile here in the States since I don't ship to England. I think this could be an attractive uh, purchase for some. Uh, similarly, I, for some reason I landed in their mug section and don't know why. Um, and I thought I needed mugs, like, oh, people sell mugs all the time. I should sell more. I don't really have any. Yeah, I was totally wrong. I had all kinds and I don't know what I was thinking. But regardless, I did pick up another one that I really liked the looks of. At the time, you had the sticker on the bottom. I peeled the sticker. I know I'm not supposed to do that, but oh well. Uh, so I peeled the sticker, but you can see on the bottom, even once the sticker was peeled, that was a very hard sticker or hard imprint to read at the store. So doing my best to be nonchalant about it, but I was trying to do the research and I desperately was trying to find this mug trying to read the label and doing some research, did piece together. This is Irish porcelain made in Ireland by Wade Company Armok. Uh, the Armok was completely beyond me while I was there. That one I figured out once I got home. But doing the piece, it was a piece of Wade. Now my knowledge of Wade is the little Wade whimsies, which I think are adorable, but sell for literally like two or three bucks. I mean, they're certainly not something I'd be doing a lot of resale for. So I was a little bit concerned, you know, okay, well, what does that mean for the mugs? There were tons of these mugs selling on eBay, or I have a subscription to Worth Point. So these mugs, just in 2019, there were 127 sales of Wade mugs. Uh, so this is Irish porcelain made by Wade, uh, and obviously mugs. Some of them are a little bit larger. Some are a little smaller. They actually have a version that's like more of a shot glass style. So this is kind of in the middle. 127 different sales and all of them basically put them between 10 and 20 bucks, kind of depending on their size and depending on their design. Of those 127 sales, none of them looked like this. So I kept going and Worth Point goes back to 2008. I never found this. So if they sell over 100 a year and this was never there, either nobody wants this and it's never sold, or it's just not that common. So, yeah, I'm not gonna say it's rare, but it's scarce, I guess. Um, but I don't know what that means with its value, but literally there were no, his, no sales history, no comps on this. I mean, it's kind of got this Spanish Armada, you know, galleon ship, you know, 15th, 16th century, 14th century, like what, there's Columbus going out, 15th century ship. Why? I have no idea. There, I don't recognize the flags enough. If you look really close to the top, maybe that is the is the British flag, red and blue, but this was made in Ireland, so that sounds like a bad idea. I don't know what the yellow with the cross on it is, the, that big flag that's kind of in the front. 
Um, so I have no idea really what this is, but it obviously sells fairly regularly, but they do sell regularly enough that currently on Etsy, there are 104 listings of this style of mug. Most of them have the little shamrock design at the bottom, which is actually kind of cool, but that's kind of a, you know, a, a traditional thing for Wade. So I'm competing against 104 listings for design though that maybe is something scarce. So maybe if I, if I put the right tags on it, someone might find it and want it. Otherwise it's gonna get lost in a sea of Wade. So we're gonna try. Um, most of them were selling 18 to 20. The ones that are listed right now are listed actually a little bit higher than that. They're kind of going that 18 to $25 range. I think if I, this would probably ship under a, under a pound. I could probably sell this, you know, 15, 20 bucks with it, which is shipping included. I would think this would be able to sell because it is a neat looking mug. Uh, and, you know, even though the, the design itself is not super Irish, other than the fact that the sales have become green, you do still have the shamrocks on the bottom. So it's just, it's just kind of a cool, a cool piece. And then the last mug that I picked up, and I don't know why I picked this up because I've kind of kept my own little mental thing that I want to have fun listing my stuff. I want to like enjoy handling it and owning it and be excited to pass it on to somebody else or in some cases being upset that I don't get to keep it anymore. I'll be very sad when this uh, charger ever sells because I really like it. Um, but regardless, uh, I want things to have a good home. Why did I buy a shoebox greeting mug? It was 50 cents. So that was part of it. It was a home, it's clearly marked Hallmark, but it's also marked 1986. And it says it's made in Japan and it is from Shoebox Greetings. So it is very clearly marked. I think what I really, the, the extent of my concept was it's January. People are gonna be looking for those corny end of year gifts to give the teachers. I mean, what I thought was funny about this, I'm not kidding. There were probably a dozen teacher mugs all on the same shelf. So some, poor woman probably died or got sick of all of her kids and donated her entire teacher collection to Goodwill at one time. And I picked up this one because I thought it was kind of funny for my teacher from one of your little monsters. I just, you know, truth hurts. So I picked this up. It, again, 50 cents. Uh, there aren't a lot. Actually, there I couldn't find any comps of this exact uh, uh, mug selling. There was three uh, da, da, da. No, one sold in 2019 that was a Japan uh, shoebox greeting Hallmark mug, and it sold for $10. So, you know, $10, that, that's kind of what I was hoping for, maybe $15 with shipping included. I did compare, was on Etsy, there are three of these listed on Etsy. Uh, they're ranging from $18 to $23 with shipping included. So again, if I do like $15 to $18 shipping included, I'm going to be at least on the low end of the comps. And yeah, there's three of them listed right now, but at some point people will be looking for those corny ch teacher gifts and this will fill the bill. So uh, that was the last pickup and hopefully I'll be able to sell that and turn that fairly quickly. So all of these should be going up on Etsy fairly soon. Uh, that's another one of my New Year's resolutions is to just try and get things posted more quickly. Uh, so some of this has been you know, uncovering stuff that's been in storage, just waiting for me to deal with it. So now that's uncovered, I can you know, set it up with my photo, uh, photo, particularly the mugs and everything can fit in my little light box. The bigger pieces I struggle with a little bit. And so those tend to take longer just because I'm too lazy to pull out the rest of my lighting stuff to make the bigger space to take the bigger pictures. Live and learn. Uh, but regardless, I appreciate you uh, watching the video. Again, my name is Patrick. I'm with Trusty Huxty Mercantile. Did I just say that right? No, Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile. I don't know what I just said. Uh, you can find us on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook. You've already found us on YouTube. If you've gotten this far into the video, I would really appreciate you giving us a thumbs up, possibly sharing it with your friends, maybe putting a comment, letting me know what you think about doing a haul video that's concentrated on type of haul as opposed to location of where it all came from. And we'll see, you know, at this point, I've got a couple of these planned. I think I've got another one that's gonna be doing more dinnerware stuff and another one for glass and that might get per, uh, merged with some pottery or the pottery and porcelain might go into a separate one. We'll see how many of these I start doing and see if there's any change in the number of uh, people watching and the activity. Uh, it'll be, be a little bit shorter and hopefully that'll encourage more people to uh, dive in. So again, Patrick with Trusty Huckster Mercantile, thanks for your time and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you so much, bye-bye.